Well, it is seemingly everywhere. Artificial intelligence, it is changing our world in ways we could only imagine just a few years ago. That includes classrooms where it's sparking curiosity and preparing students for the future. That's right, it's not all bad stuff, mm -hmm. but with any new technology, there are potential dangers as children navigate it on their own, making it critical for parents to understand this powerful tool. Tonight, we begin a week-long series on the promise and pitfalls of kids and AI. Danielle Wiggins joining us now to talk about it and to kick off the series. It is here. Yes. So a we better embrace it. AI is here and as I've been talking with people, it is not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. So we need to be able to be prepared to incorporate it into the teaching process. And so a recent survey of superintendents in 39 states found nearly all believe schools have an obligation to teach students how to use artificial intelligence effectively and responsibly. However, only 37% have a plan to do so. But a teacher in Mansfield is ahead of the digital curve, becoming a pioneer of incorporating AI in classrooms. Hello, hello. In this space, early adaptation is welcome. Yeah, let's try it, see what happens. Dan Jones, a middle school social studies teacher at the Richland School of Academic Arts. We're focusing on the events that led to the fall of Rome. Is an early adopter and advocate of a new terrain in education. When I first started working with AI in December of 2022, I knew that it was going to change the entire landscape of the classroom. Not only does Jones use a digital platform designed to look like Netflix to present lectures and content. Click on Mr. Jones and that will take you to your AI spaces. He's also incorporated a chatbot powered by School AI that's specifically tailored for students. One of the things that it makes School AI different is that it reintroduces critical thinking into the AI process. Jones is among the 18% of K through 12 teachers in the US who reported using AI. He says the program he introduced to students doesn't just provide answers, but gets students to respond too. It asks probing questions to get students to be reflective and to explore more deeply the content that's being covered. It wouldn't take as much time as a teacher would to answer your question. So perfect. Seventh grader Kimati Brooks is a fan of school AI speed and non-judgmental responses. It won't, won't make fun of you if you misspell something. So you're creating the chatbot as? Yes. So you're programming it. Mm -hmm. And because the software gives Jones a level of control over the chatbot, he says it won't do the work for students either. All of a sudden it takes that anxiety from the teacher side of, oh my gosh, they're just gonna cheat. It's not gonna write on their behalf. Okay. It'll help them brainstorm. It will help them process information and it will guide them through the writing process. But does Jones, a published author who also writes about AI in the classroom, see artificial intelligence replacing teachers on the horizon? A teacher is able to empathize and understand and give grace to a student who needs it. AI is not able to replicate that. A teacher doesn't have to worry that they're gonna get replaced by AI. They might get replaced by someone who uses AI. Now that's something to think about. Now, Jones says about seven other teachers in the building are currently using the AI program. The school has developed an artificial intelligence policy requiring students to acknowledge when they have used the technology. And Jay and Betsy tomorrow will take a look at a local school who says that introducing AI as a tool in the classroom helped them go from a two star rated school in on the state report card to a four star wow. rated wow, school. Job. Yes. Now they said it wasn't all the AI, right. but it definitely helped. That's Very incredible. interesting. I, I can't wait to see where things are going to be five years from now. We'll be looking back like, ha, 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 remember when we were so scared. But at the same time, there's a lot of scary stuff. And it I think is. we've got some really good uh, stories to tell everybody this week in this series to amp it up a little bit. Yes, we do. Later on in the week, we talk about that security, cybersecurity, and how to keep your kids safe as well as I, in, I, in, uh, interacting with AI. I asked an educator not long ago, to put it into perspective, will AI have the same impact that computers had in classrooms? And he laughed and he said, times 10. Oh, geez. Mm -hmm. So that's yes. pretty dramatic. Yes. All right, and you're going to be with us every day this week? Two days, and two then days. Maureen picks up Maureen the, picks the last up. two days. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, just making sure we got the yeah, content we got for covered. everybody. We got All right. it covered. Thanks so much, Danielle. Mm -hmm. No problem.